Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, we will be doing our RuPaul's Drag Race roundup for this week. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to like this video, comment down below what you thought about this week's episodes, and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> So, yes, it is time for that time of the week again where we're going to be doing our roundup for RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, obviously, um, we just got through, uh, not just got through, but we just had two episodes of Drag Race with Drag Race UK and Drag Race Season 13. And I'm going to go ahead and give you my final thoughts and opinions on this week's episodes and what I'm thinking about the seasons moving forward and especially next week with uh, next week's upcoming episodes. Obviously, this week we had, um, Snatch Game in the UK and The Rusical in the US. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts on the Snatch Game right ahead, go ahead right now. Um, as far as the Snatch Game, um, I liked it. I will say I don't think it was as great as Season 1's was with Bag and Chips and The Vivian. Because, I mean, like, that was just such a good Snatch Game. Um, I think the one really good Snatch Game, obviously, was Bimini, and Bimini killed it in the Snatch Game and the Runway, obviously. Um, Lawrence definitely struggled, so it was weird to see Lawrence struggle, because Lawrence has been doing so well lately in the competition. Um, but overall, it was a fine Snatch Game. I don't think it was necessarily anything super incredible to write home about, you know, it just, it was fine. It was a Snatch Game. It wasn't my favorite Snatch Game. Um... It was fine. That That's really all I can say about it. Um, as far as the runway though, I really like the runway theme. I thought the prehistoric was a really fun runway theme. I think um, one thing I thought was really interesting is how Dragos UK has some very cool runway themes. I feel like season 13's runway themes are much more broad. And I've been thinking more about this. And I saw something online, someone talking about this. How... Um, but cut the queens for season 13 how to get ready during the pandemic it made it that much harder for them to be able to get everything together so that might be part of the reason why the themes are much more broad so that they have a wider range of things they could do for each of the runways so that's an interesting perspective i didn't really think about and i kind of just wanted to mention that right there um but the runway was really fun in the uk i really liked bimini's i'm gonna go ahead and put a picture up here again just because bimini killed it it was so good so well done so 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 fashion very well done now we're gonna get into the rusical for season 13 uh social media the unverified rusical i thought it was a fun rusical i will say i think madonna was better because Madonna Rusical was just fun. Um, I'm not saying this one was bad by any means. I just think the Madonna one was better. Um, as far as the parts, Rosé killed it, obviously. Rosé was amazing. Uh, Simone definitely struggled. And it was interesting to see Simone struggle. Because Simone has been doing so well in the competition up until now. And Candy also struggled. Um, I do want to, did want to point out a little bit about the runways. And then the placements and my thoughts on all of that. As far as the runways, my favorites, obviously, I loved, I really, really liked Candy's runway. I thought that was really, really cool. And I also loved um, Gamic's runway, because Gamic, again, awesome runway. Like, so well done. Um, as far as the placement for uh, the musical, um, I didn't really agree with the bottom three. Um, I don't think Tina should have been in the bottom three. I thought she should have either been safe or in the top. I think Tina Burner did a really, really good job. I don't see why she was put in the bottom. Um, my bottom three, my personal bottom three, would have been Simone, um, Candy Muse, and Elliot. Um, that's just my own opinion. Um, just I feel like Elliot's verse was very forgettable. And the runway wasn't that spectacular. So I would have put um, Elliot in the bottom with uh, Candy and Simone. So that's what I would have done. Top three would have been uh, Rosé. Uh, Mick and Tina. I think that would have been really good top three. And yeah, um, which would have meant Olivia, Utica, Denali are six. I, that's how I would have done the placement. Again, I'm not a judge, so I obviously not doing the placement, but if I were, that's what I would have done. Um, as far as the lip sync, obviously, I do think it was between Candy and uh, Simone. I think that was the correct bottom two, but 
I think they killed it. I think it, this was a really, really good lip sync. Um, and also, yeah, that's about it. I agree with the double jante. I know a lot of people are upset about it. And I understand where they're coming from because it, it does feel like the season is being dragged out even further. Because A, no elimination this week. B, next week we don't get a normal episode. And we already had three episodes with zero eliminations. So we will have had five weeks of season 13 without any eliminations. Which is insane. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about the special that is coming out next week. Um, I... Actually, let's talk about the whole next week as next week as a whole before we get into that. Um, let's talk about UK first uh, with the uh, next week's maxi challenge, which is another design challenge, uh, superhero design challenge. So I think this will be a really fun episode. I'm excited to see how the queens do. Um, going into it, my instincts are telling me Ahura is going to do well, Lawrence is going to do well. And I think um, Ellie Diamond are, is going to do very well. So those three I think will do very well. I think Bimini will do well as well. Um, right now my idea for bottom two. Anyways, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see how it turns out. But that's, those are my instincts going into it. Um, as far as season 13 now, I want to talk a little bit about the special next week and my thoughts on that. Um, I appreciate that they are doing the special because I think it will be interesting to get a behind-the-scenes look of how filming went during this crazy time. Um, that being said, I don't necessarily think it makes sense to make an entire week's episode solely focused on this. I wish they had released this as almost like an online um, exclusive video, if that makes sense. Sort of like what they did with uh, the UK, where they put this on Y Presents Plus. You could have just released it, I think, on VH1 as, like, a special online special that you can go watch. I don't necessarily understand why they're policing it, like, right in the middle of the season. It doesn't necessarily make sense to me. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be re reviewing it or not for you guys. Let me know down below if you want to see that review. I just feel like it's not really something I can really review about, you know? Like, it, it'll be interesting to watch, but I don't necessarily think I can make an entire YouTube video about it, if that makes sense. Anyways, that brings me to next week. I also would just in general want to talk about the futures of these seasons as we go on. Um, as far as who I think can win each of these seasons. Uh, for UK, my current guesses are probably top three is going to be Lawrence, Bimini, and I think Tace is going to be in it. Either Tace or Ellie. Or Ahura. One of those. But definitely Lawrence and uh, Bimini. Those will, two will definitely be in the top three. I'm putting that out there now. Yeah. As far as season 13, um, I still think uh, Mick is going to be in there. Still think Simone. And I'm starting to think um, Mick, Simone, and honestly, I'm starting to think... Wait, who, who am I forgetting about? I could see Rosé making it. Rosé, I think, is starting to turn now towards a better critique, and I think she's doing very well. So I could definitely see her... And also Olivia. I could see Olivia in the top four as well. Obviously, we'll have to see what happens, but that's my initial instinct as of right now. Again, these are all my own opinions, so definitely let me know down below what you think about all this. But that brings me to the end of this video. Like I said already, make sure to like this video, comment down below what you thought about it, and hit that subscribe button. And we'll be back here tomorrow with another video. It will be a Makeup Monday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.